up before you divide. It's not negative 6 plus 12 over 2. Look at this. This is negative 6 plus 12 over 2. 12 over 2 is 6. No, you need parentheses around the top. Negative 6 plus 12 divided by 2. You get 3. X equals 3. And think about it. What's negative 6 plus 12? 6 over 2 is 3. Here we get negative 18 over 2, negative 9. And don't forget your x equals. Remember, we're solving for x. We're solving for x. This is a factorable problem. We got nice answers. I'm just going over the process with you. All right, number 5. x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 0. Can you see what I just wrote? Okay. A, B, and C. A, B and C. What's A? There's nothing in front, so it's 1. B is 5. C is 1. Okay. Again, plug in. Write it out. Negative B plus or minus the square root. B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Negative B. B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Negative 5, plus or minus the square root. Put that all in the calculator, you get 21 all over 2 times 1. Now, this one's not so nice because what do you? what's the square root of 21? Any ideas? No. Oh, I forgot to multiply the 2 and the 1. Negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 21 all over 2. Um, so you have an option. Now, if we're going to be graphing this, you really do want the decimal. You can break this up, though. Because we the square root of 21 is some disgusting decimal. Negative 5 plus radical 21 all over 2. Negative 5 minus radical 21 all over 2. You know, it depends on the teacher. I kind of don't care. If we're gra gonna be we're gonna be graphing these, so you need to be able to put it in the calculator and get a decimal. Square root of 21. So I get divided by 2. Ne x equals negative 0 0.2087. And then I'm going to hit a minus divided by 2. x equals negative 4.7913. Okay, so those are my decimals. These are my non decimals. If I'm just asking you to solve it, you can leave the radical. I'm just asking for you to solve it. You can leave it like this. If we're fo graphing, you're going to need to actually find the decimal. Okay. All right, last one, number six. 2x squared minus 3x min equals 8. Sorry. Now, how is this different? Two problems. Number one, there's a number in front of x squared. A is no longer 1. Second issue, do we have equals 0? No. You need to subtract the 8 on both sides. You need a 0 on one side. 2x squared minus 3x minus 8. You need a 0 on one side of the equation. What's a, b, and c? a is 2. b is negative 3. c is negative 8. Watch the signs. Negative b plus or minus the square root. b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Every single time, put those parentheses. You're going to make a mistake otherwise. Negative, negative 3 is 3 plus or minus. Put it in the calculator. You need the parentheses. I'm going to put it exactly the way you see it. Parentheses, negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 8. Look, it's exactly what I wrote here. No radical, though. 73. The square root of 73 all over 2 times 2 is 4. This is like that last one. Break it into 2. 3 plus radical 73 all over 4. 3 minus radical 73 all over 4. You can leave it like this if we're just finding the x. If we're going to be graphing it, you really want to find the decimal. I like four decimal points for radicals. It's more accurate. 
3 plus the square root of 73, enter, divided by 4, 2.8860. 2.8860, and then same thing, 3 minus radical 73, divided by 4, x equals negative 1.3860. And that's your review of the quadratic formula. Have a fabulous day.